The Sims, one of the most iconic real-life simulation games ever made. While perhaps the latest release of The Sims games might be more relevant, there is no denying that The Sims 2 has some of the most unique and realistic small details than Sims 3 or Sims 4. It will seem that The Sims 2 might win in terms of these, if only these features weren't cut in the future Sims games. Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm going to show you 50 interesting, sensible yet subtle details that makes The Sims 2 so much more enjoyable in various aspects. Now let's just take a look at them. If your sims are preparing food, they would open kitchen counters to take utensils like knives, bowls, pans, etc. This is of course highly different from The Sims 3 and 4 where the cutleries and other cooking utensils would come out of thin air. While a couple is sleeping on the bed, they will always snuggle together while sleeping. But that's not it. Once both of their energy needs become full, they would decide to lay there for a second and let their partner sleep on their chest before waking up completely. If your sim has a flat screen TV mounted on the wall, there is an extremely rare chance where the TV could fall down and be broken down into two piles of scraps. Pretty sure it's already dying inside there. There is a small chance that your crying toddler will actually escape from their crib, so keep an eye out for your children. Teenagers could grow acne if they frequently have low hygiene. You can, however, make them go away quicker with acne cream by clicking on a mirror. If you order a pizza and take a slice, a slice of pizza will actually be removed from the serving, unlike The Sims 3 and 4's magical pizza. Also, a slice of pizza freaking flops. That's totally a game changer. Some of The Sims' talking animation will go according to the topic they're talking about based on the icon that appears in their speech bubble. For example, if one sim is talking about bugs, they will act as if there were bugs around them. Or if one sim is talking about ghosts, they will both act like a ghost and act scared. Another example, if they're talking about rocket ships, their hand motion will mimic a flying rocket. This really makes socializing more unique in this game. Eating while having low energy need could be annoying and funny at the same time. Your sim's face could fall on their food and they'll begin sleeping. You can wake them up, but if their energy need is still low, they will end up sleeping again. Children and teenagers with at least 7 playful personality points will sometimes slide down spiral stairs automatically. Playful children and teenagers could also play goofily with the fridge. I mean, who doesn't close the fridge door slowly to see when the lights are off back when we're young? Cars are really intractable in this game. The doors can be opened manually, you can talk with each other, kiss, hoo-hoo, and listen to the stereo in it. There's also a proper animation of the car exiting the driveway. Cheap car doors could sometimes fail to close and your sims need to close it twice. The car will also move in a jerky way. Sims are sometimes smart enough to step over small objects like toys when they obstruct the way. At least they won't get stuck forever when surrounded by it like certain Sims games. If your sim is drinking too much coffee, they will start shaking for a short time, even while doing other activities. While sleeping with low needs or low aspirations, your sims could sometimes have nightmares and wake up in the middle of the night but they'll go back to sleep eventually. They will sometimes struggle and mumble in their sleep too. You can do various things with newspapers. Some of the fun stuff that you can do with it are filling crosswords to increase your logic skill and making paper airplanes with it that can be flown for several times before breaking. If children witness their parents arguing, they will run out of the room being upset. Once they're out, they will react by crying or getting irritated. Adults could teach nursery rhymes to toddlers. Once taught, they can sing it by themselves occasionally. Children will greet their parents at the front door after the parents went home from work with a hug or a kiss. This will be done automatically if both have good relationship. Sims with lazy personality would be more regularly stand or walk in a slouch position. The flat screen TV mounted on the floor will need to be pulled away in order to be fixed. Once done, it'll stay in that position until you push it back again manually. Children usually have their own silly dancing moves when dancing to a stereo, like swaying around or bopping their heads, maybe because they don't know how to dance properly yet. Aside from napping and sitting, your sims could also lay down on their side like this on the sofa. Their comfort need will also raise faster by doing this. I think this is the only sims game that knows how we actually watch TV in real life. 
If you keep looking closely at your sim while they're not doing anything, they could break the simulation wall and look at you. Yes, you, the player. Sims with at least 7 need personality points will sometimes clean windows with sponge. This action applies automatically and cannot be done manually. If there are two toddlers and one of them is drinking a bottle of milk, the other could steal their bottle. The toddler whose bottle was stolen from will then proceed crying. Teenagers could run away from home if they have bad relationship with the other house members. They will return eventually right before they grow up, but if you report it to the police, the chances of them returning are even faster and sooner and they'll be escorted in a police car. After their home, the parents will beg for forgiveness. When playing chess, unlike other Sims games where the chess piece teleports around, they actually move them individually and precisely. This will create a realistic and dynamic round of chess that makes sense. So expect a long game before one of them wins. If someone is using the shower and another one flushes the toilet nearby, the same that's in the shower will freak out, probably because the water turns hot, stop showering, and neck on the same who flushes. After returning home from school, children will always check on their grade first. They'll get angry and crumple up the report card if it's bad, shrug it off if it's decent, and get excited if it's excellent. Then they'll run into their parents if they're home and show it off to them. The parents will also be as excited as a kid. When a sim is writing in their diary and a sim they don't trust walks in, they'll cover up their diary on their chest and won't continue writing until the other one leaves the room. If a sim is starving, they'll automatically open the fridge and do the stuff face interaction where they try to find something that can be consumed like milk and small snacks. This will boost their hunger need a little. When you buy something from buy mode, everyone will react to the objects. If you buy something pricey, they'll get excited. But if it's something cheap, they'll be disgusted and complain. Well, you won't be complaining anymore after I put you in a swimming pool without ladders, you ungrateful little. Cushions in the couches and living chairs will actually slightly move when a sim is sitting on it. I'm actually really amazed when I found out about it. When a sim plays a game on a computer, they'll turn it on, wait for it to boot up, insert the game's disc, wait for the game's intro to finish, and then start playing the game. If you have the sims 2 pets, toddlers can eat on a filled pet bowl, though they can throw up sometimes after eating it but it's not a big deal. They can also sleep on a pet bed. This combo is perfect if you're too busy and want a self-sustaining toddler. If you invite sims to your house, there's a chance they will steal your garden gnomes or newspaper. Then at midnight, one of your household members might automatically decide to leave the lot for a while to steal it back. If a kid is on a carpet, they can prank others by rubbing their feet to produce static electricity and then touch the target to give them a shock. Playful sims can choose to skip to the destination instead of walk. This method is faster than walking, but still not as fast as running. When a sim is running and needs to take the stairs, they'll actually take the stairs while running as well. I swear, this is the only sims game that does this, and it's so efficient. If you change a baby or toddler's diaper, the dirty diaper will actually be dropped into the ground and you need to throw them away by yourself. You can also bathe a baby on a sink or change their diaper properly by using the baby changing station. There are a lot of social games that sims can play with each other. Besides the usual rock paper scissors, catch, pillow fight, tag, and kiki ball. They can also play rat hands, punch you punch me, tickle, cops and robbers, merry mag, swing around, and you can even play Marco Polo while swimming. When a child does a dance together with an adult, they'll do this adorable dance with the child's feet stepping on the adult's feet. Sims who are playful will have the option to play with the bathtub, acting like a diver, a swimmer, or a sailor. Sims with serious personality, when directed to do serious stuff like using the telescope, playing chess, and other serious activities, would express their excitement first while looking at the screen. The same can be said to neat sims that are directed to clean stuff, outgoing sims that are directed to make the first move, and other interactions that are in accordance with their personality. 
Meanwhile, sims with shy personality, when directed to make the first move to other sim, will express their discomfort while looking at the screen instead. The same can be said to serious sims that are directed to do playful stuff and other interactions that opposes their personality. Sims with grouchy personality will react by doing an evil smirk to the camera when directed to irritate someone. Children will have the option to show off some gymnastic tricks to someone. It consists of doing a cartwheel, a somersault, or a headstand. There are hair physics in this game. You'll quickly notice that Sim's hair will wave around even with the slightest movement. Some heads also do this. Sims can set an alarm to wake them up before going to work. But if they're in a bad mood, they will smash them instead of turning it off normally. And those are 50 fun little details in Sims 2 that future Sims games don't have. Did I miss anything else? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you like Sims videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you later.